New demonstrations and arrests this afternoon after a violent night in Ferguson. Yeah, protesters marking the one year anniversary of Michael Brown's death ducked gunfire overnight. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez reports. Today in St. Louis, loud protests and peaceful marches. Following last night's violence in Ferguson. Gunshots and looting, bottles thrown at police, the chaos marring a day of quiet remembrance on the first anniversary of the shooting death of Michael Brown by a Ferguson police officer. He's bleeding out, man. Please get him some help, man. Please get him some help. He's bleeding out. Man. Last night, police shooting this 18 year old. They say ran from this scene where two rival groups were firing at each other. Investigators saying Tyrone Harris then shot at a police SUV with four detectives inside. When they got out, police claim Harris continued firing at them with a stolen semi automatic handgun. Police explaining all four detectives shot back, leaving the teen in critical condition. Today, police are still at the scene, concerned about the potential for another tense night. My prayer is that we can move forward without the, uh, the violence that has unfortunately been associated with this because. Um, the stakes are very high here. I've talked a lot about the fact you cannot do this forever without a tragedy. And because of last night's violence, a state of emergency has now been declared in Ferguson, meaning the county now steps in to oversee police operations until officials decide that people and businesses are once again safe. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. And we are following the situation in Ferguson, Missouri. Download our mobile app for breaking news updates.